All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how I am dehydrating my red sorrel calluses, red sorrel petals, whatever you want to call them. Um, they've been in the fridge for a couple of days because I have so many of them, but here's one. Um, I'm going to tell you now, these will have a lot of water. So if it's pretty much going to take almost all, all day to dehydrate them. So about roughly under 12 to 24 hours, depending on how much moisture. Obviously, I've had these in the fridge, so it's going to be a lot more moisture. So it'll probably have to go a lot more. Need a dehydrator, which I have all set up over here. Um, I recommend some gloves um, only because uh, they can still turn or put the dye on your hands. If it's not a big deal to you, don't worry about the gloves. But I'm going to show you um, what I do with the dehydrator. Okay, guys. Now, as you can tell, they've already been peeled. If you need the instructions on that, I have it in another video under my Red Sorrel Harvest. And so this is going to be pretty easy. I mean, all the manual labor has pretty much been done. So what you want to do is we are just going to line the trays. Just like that. And I'm going to show you um, a little bit more in detail. Give me a second. All right, guys. Here we are. I'm going to go ahead and lay out a few. Now, when you do lay them out in the dehydrator, I would suggest lining them up like this. Um, you'll get the most maximum space out of everything. And then this way, you can have nice clean rows going all the way down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead. Um, I can fit three of these trays because they are kind of big and bulky. I can't do all five trays. Uh, but I can definitely do three as long as I stagger the uh, trays in my dehydrator. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And then I'm going to show you the end result of uh, what I've done here. Alright guys, so here's what it should kind of look like when you're doing it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you why I have it staggered in my dehydrator. There it is there. I already got two of them in. Um, but normally what happens is because these things, see right there, it's already happening. Um, see how uh, when you push it in, these uh, curled up petal leaves will push everything around so this top when you're doing it you got to be very very careful and then I just kind of push them down a little bit so they'll fit in there and I just do it real slow keeping an eye on everything yeah, there's one there All right, it is in. I'm gonna start it up now because these are really, um, really moist. I'm gonna actually turn it all the way up to the highest setting I can. Normally, when it's fresh, like uh, as soon as I peel it off the seed pod and I'm able to get it into the dehydrator, um, I'll put it for. 155 and it'll be good for about six to eight hours they'll be crispy but because I know they've been in the fridge for the last couple days I'm just gonna turn this off high all the way and then I'm gonna let it sit and dehydrate and I will come back later after dinner to check on them because it'll be a few hours and see how they're doing two thousand years later it's the next day and as you can tell, totally dry. They're going to be really stiff, but it'll be crunchy. 
And so what I do is, like I said, because uh, Canon supplies started becoming harder and harder to find, I started keeping a hold of supplies that I had. So this was an old jelly jar that's got a good seal on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the three trays, put it into a jar, and then store it away in my cabinet. All right, end result, pretty full. I had to crush it in there. So, but that's how I dehydrate and save my red sorrel. So to give you guys a couple ideas, you know, it's easy for the dry stuff because you don't have to worry about heating up cans or making sure they seal. It's one of those as long as all the moisture's out of it and they will not rehydrate. These will be good. All right. Hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button. Remember that bell and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.